Hey, what's up? My name is Caleb. I'm a full-time reseller and today I have on my screen um, the items that I sold for the most amount of money in the month of November. I'm going to go from the least amount to the highest amount. I'm just going to kind of go through and explain, you know, maybe why they sold for a little bit more or what I'm looking for in the thrift store to be able to find this many profitable items. So I'm sure there will be some good um, bolos in there um, and some, you know, good little details from different brands and different items to be on the lookout for. Uh, this first item is a Nike Aerolayer vest. Um, you know, this is like a higher end performance model within Nike. And so, um, you know, with Nike, you're looking for kind of the upper echelon of their items. Um, and so this fit the bill and I actually just looked up the style code. So you can come here to the pictures and this number right here, CJ5478. I typed that into eBay to figure out all this information, how much it sold for, and this sold in I think like a day or something like that. This next item is this Shot Bros sweater. Um, let's look at the tag here. This is what the tag looks like. And I actually listed this as new without tags because this like little rope piece is what the tag normally hangs on and so that might have helped it sell for a little bit quicker um, or a little bit more money um, but this is a good uh, wool sweater brand to be on the lookout for they also make very expensive jackets so if you find their jackets that's a good one as well um, the next item is this are these peter millar jeans i was really shocked that these sold for so much money and really quickly i didn't realize their uh, denim was you know, that good on the resale market. Um, of course, anything Peter Millar I'm looking up, um, but I was really happy to uh, see that. Uh, on Peter Millar, the, this little number here with the ME, this is the style code. So I typed that in to figure out that these were the Pilot Mill jeans. And so if I do see that one particular model is selling really well, I will actually put that in the very front of the title mm -hmm. to try to match that with somebody's search for these jeans to get them sold quickly. Here I put this Columbia jacket on the list because, you know, Columbia as a brand overall is honestly just not that good anymore. But the Omnitech line is something that I still do look up comps on because it is waterproof and you know people are looking for those types of jackets and this also had the liner included so it had the waterproof shell and the insulated liner with this like reflective omni heat you know lining um, and I looked up to find the style name with this number right here this WM number uh, it's two letters and then four numbers. That's the style code for Columbia. So that's how I got that it was the Whirlybird 4 and it had the camo, like kind of digital camo print. Um, so all those things combined is why, you know, I knew this was a good one. And it's actually sold for like $45 uh, plus shipping. I listed a little bit high, um, but took an offer. This next uh, brand, Ibex, is a great brand to be on the lookout for. Um, a buyer actually that is a collector of this brand messaged me and told me this was actually a men's vest. Um, but when it measured, it measured really short to be men's. So I listed it as women's, but he said that most collectors know that people list it at women's because the dimensions are so short. Um, but either way, I think this sold on an offer for $50. Uh, really quickly, but they make really good um, wool items, this brand Ibex. So this kind of like, let's see if I have a better picture of that logo. Yeah, this logo here, it kind of looks like a, wait, is Ibex an animal? I think Ibex might be an animal. Well, to me it looks like an antelope with, <laughs> do antelopes have horns? Now I'm just sounding really dumb. Uh, my daughter would be disappointed, she loves animals, so it's a shame. Anyway, this animal is a good brand. It's Ibex. Next item is a vintage Woolrich. I listed it as a shacket, um, but this had a super old tag on it. So what I did was I Google lensed this tag 
Um, and then I also searched Woolrich tag years to try to get a date based on the style of this tag. Um, and I was getting 60s to 70s. And of course, anything kind of before 90s, like every decade starts to add a little bit of value for the true vintage collectors. Um, this was a really small size. I'm pretty sure it like got shrunk up by somebody washing it, but I actually couldn't find a like size, actually that little 16 up there, I think is the size, but I just put size small because I think that it was a bigger women's size that shrunk up to that size. Either way, it sold quickly for about $50 on an offer. This is a fun item. I am a Browns fan, but I still love selling these vintage jackets. Um, this Pittsburgh Steelers jacket, it honestly was in good structural condition, but it had like discoloration kind of all over it. So what I did was I just pointed that out in the photos. Like I pointed to anything that was, you know, a little off and, um, you know, Still sold it quick just based on the style. This sold for $45 plus shipping. If you watch my haul videos, you know that I love picking up the modern LL Bean stuff, especially stuff with this little patch logo here. Um, I don't know. First of all, I just like it as a brand. I love outdoor apparel. Um, but this was down, and so what I did was I typed in this number right here, this style code, 505986, and found out that this was called the Mountain Classic Down Vest, um, and that the color was Dark Cinder Saddle. Um, so I put those in the title, and this sold in just a couple days for $50 plus shipping. <laughs> these were a really cool find. I found these really old Nike windbreaker pants, uh, new with the tags, but you can see that they're basically 100% see-through, so I don't know how you could wear these. Um, but these sold uh, really fast for full price of $60 plus shipping. Um, I knew that I had a good item on my hands when I saw this uh, white Nike tag and then that the tags are still on it. So that was a no-brainer pickup, but it sold for even more money than I thought it was going to. Here we have an Orvis jacket. Um, this is a brand I'm very, 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 very picky with, but somewhere on here it said something about, yeah, wax cloth. When I saw that, and it really felt like really heavy duty and really thick when I was holding the item in person. Um, and so I looked it up, I think I typed in waxed or maybe wax cloth, and the comps went from like the regular jackets being like in the 20s on a good day, they were all really high. And so this sold really quick, full price for 50 bucks plus shipping. So I actually made a new shipping category um, for $14.95, <coughs> excuse me. And it's for like <coughs> the bigger, heavier jackets. Um, so like Carhartts and stuff that, you know, it'd be a little bit more. And honestly, they don't really typically cause that much more to ship but people have an expectation that it will cost more. Um, so I'm basically just making a little bit extra on the shipping um, for the extra hassle of storing those jackets and shipping those jackets. Here we have some shoes. The brand is Kizik. Um, if you just saw the shoe, it's kind of unassuming. Looks like a, you know, a simple little sneaker here. Let's see if we got a front view here. Yeah, here's the brand. But these shoes are made so that you can slip on the back without untying them. And so they kind of went popular and, you know, made the resale market really strong on these. And brand new, they, they're pretty expensive, well over a hundred bucks um, for the shoes. Um, they, they have a style code on the inside. So I used that style code right there to figure out that these were the Athens Bahama. I think Athens is a style, Bahama was the colorway, this kind of white, blue, and pink. Um, and these sold, I think on an offer, I'm not sure why it doesn't say that. I think it was like $45 plus shipping. Here's another Eddie Bauer item. Um, honestly, I love picking up Eddie Bauer because I feel like I've learned that brand so well that I know which like five to 10% actually sells. And so it's one of my best sellers because most people are passing it up at the thrift store. Um, <clears throat> but this was a really heavyweight down jacket. It had kind of like a wax coating on it and I've sold this model before but it's the Yukon and it's one that has a really 
strong following. So th I think this sold for 50-ish dollars plus shipping. This one's pretty obvious. If you saw this, you would definitely grab it. But I found a new Tags Patagonia sweater vest. This is called the Better Sweater. Let's put that in the title. And on this one, it said on the back that this was stonewash color. So I put that in the title. I don't know if that helped it sell quicker. Um, but I think this sold for $65 plus shipping. Here's another shoe. These are Nike Cortez. This style of Nike is pretty much always a good seller. It kind of has this like toe cap on it. If you find the ones that are white with the red and the blue, like from Forrest Gump, those ones sell the best, oddly enough. Um, but these ones still sold quick for, I think on an offer. Once again, I'm not sure why it doesn't say like offer. Um, I think for $45 plus shipping. Here's a North Face, North Face Down Vest. Um, I saw this 700 Pro and that kind of clued me in that this was going to be a little bit above like a base level um, North Face vest. So once I got in there and I used Google Lens to find like which style had this kind of like quilted pattern and match it up with the 700 and I used Pro as like a keyword in my search and was able to find that this was like a Nupsty Nupsy, I don't know how to pronounce that word, Puffer 700 Pro, and you know that got this sold quick, and this sold for $60 plus shipping. Here's another shoe. These are uh, Peter Millar shoes. Of course, anything Peter Millar, you're going to want to be looking that up. Um, but I used Google Lens to find that these were um, this word. I'm not even going <laughs> to try to pronounce that word, but they're Venetian loafers. Um, in a really nice suede and these things like were basically in new condition um, and they sold really fast for full price 70 bucks plus shipping okay this next item is kind of a funny story um, brush popper vintage wrangler brush popper this is like you know all the youtubers are talking about it but this is just a great item um, you can tell it's a brush popper when it has um, a like a heavy heavier feel to it and it has like this kind of white inside to it <clears throat> let's get the tag here so this is what the tag looks like so cowboy cut is another keyword and x long tails is another keyword that's going to help these all sell better but really the print is what sold this one so i actually bought this on um another YouTuber's whatnot stream, J-Ride Flips. Shout out to you, thank you. Um, <clears throat> I think I paid like $21 for this, or $23 or something like that. Um, but it had this cuff that was like really messed up. And he was saying that, you know, somebody knew how to sew or something like that could fix this up and make it nice. Um, it could sell for good money, but I honestly just sold it exactly as is, and it sold full price in like a couple hours for 70 plus shipping. Um, so in good condition, that's probably a hundred and twenty to a hundred and fifty dollar shirt. But you know, I'm still happy to make <clears throat> forty bucks on it um, really quickly. Here's another Patagonia item. Um, of course, you know all Patagonia. Definitely be looking it up. Um, even if you have to pay up for it, like it's one of my favorite brands to pay up for um, because, you know, the thrift, thrift stores know it, so they're going to price it high, but it scares off some of the resellers. So I'm happy to pay a little bit more for it. Um, Patagonia calls their down puffers the down sweater. So you're going to want to put that in your title. And then this little tag down here. <coughs> The five numbers after STY is the style code. So if you type that into eBay, you'll be able to see exactly which one this is. This sold for $100 plus shipping. They are kind of getting a little bit out of order because some of these were international sales and I filtered by um, the most total amount spent. So, you know, if it was an international order, the shipping is going to be way higher. Um, but this is an Abercrombie and Fitch tanker jacket um, and I knew what that was because it literally had the tag still on it and it said tanker um, but Abercrombie and Fitch 
it has its like certain items that are selling really well. Um, boot cut jeans are selling well for me. Um, obviously new with tags items, I'm looking all those up and you know, the heavyweight jackets, like even wool pea coats could be doing well, um, if you're getting them cheap enough. Um, but that's a brand that's kind of slept on, but it is kind of making a resurgence. Um, another good item would be like the Y2K hoodies with the big embroideries on the front or the big moose like embroidery, their logo. Um, because it's coming back in style, the things that were back in style, you know, maybe 10, 12 years ago are the items that are going to be worth more now. Here is a North Face jacket. Um, once again, I used Google Lens to try to figure out what model it was, and it was the 3-in-1 Tri-Climate. And the reason that I even looked this up in the first place is it said Dry Vent right here on the sleeve. So High Vent is a good model to be look at on the lookout for, but Dry Vent is one step above that. So when I knew that, I knew that this was going to be you know a pretty good item. And this one had the liner included. Um, so when it says three in one, it means there's a shell and there's a removable liner. So you can wear just the shell, one, you can wear just the liner, two, or you can wear them both together, three. So that's how you get the three in one um, for the jacket. Um, yeah, and typically you only find one or the other at a time, like at the thrift store. Um, so to find it all together and it was a drive in I knew this was a good pickup and this sold super fast for 90 bucks. Here's another one that's out of order because somebody paid crazy amount to ship these overseas. Um, but these Y2K like kind of chunky style boots slash shoes are definitely coming back. Um, I bought these purely based on the look and just a hunch that these were going to sell for good money. And I think they sold on an offer for $40 plus shipping. And these are Skechers, so, you know, any brand like that, if it has the right look, definitely look up comps because your basic brands are gonna sell better with the really in style, you know, styles. Here's the Carhartt jacket. This one was uh, Sherpa lined and had a good size of XL. It was marked irregular on the tag, but I didn't find any flaws um, throughout the jacket. So it sold really fast for $100 plus shipping. Um, I used Barn and Chore as um, and Heavy as keywords to get more money and sell this faster. So a lot of the comps for this particular model were in the $80 to $100 range. So I listed at the top at $100 and put the good keywords in there. It still sold, you know, in less than a few days um, <clears throat> and for that top dollar amount. Here is a new Tags Polo Ralph Lauren down vest. I tend to see this uh, brand at like resale shops, brand new. I don't know if it's because it goes like Marshalls or TJ Maxx and whatnot, and then those resale shops purchase some of their inventory, or if this is just like the epitome of like your grandma getting you a expensive item that you'll never wear and then you just take it to the resale shop to get some money for it but they only had this at twenty dollars at um i think it was like an uptown cheapskate if you have that in your area um similar to plato's closet but it was still new with the tags the retail was 170 um and it sold really fast for 100 bucks plus shipping Here's another Carhartt jacket, and this sold for $100 plus shipping. The reason I included this one uh, right after the other one is that this one was pretty beat up. I mean, every single hem on it was destroyed and had stuff coming through. There were straight up holes in it, but it was blanket lined. It was vintage. It had this patch on the back that, you know, was just local to my area, but I knew based on just the look, even though it had all this you know, distress on it that it was just too good of an item and I knew that it would sell. And some people actually prefer, <coughs> excuse me, actually prefer the, you know, distressed look. This is a major bolo rab. I had never seen it before, but when I felt it, it felt extremely high quality. So I looked it up and I'm glad I did because the thrift store missed this one. I got this for under $10 and it's 
And this actually had the style name right on the tag, if I can find that. Yep, Micro Light Alpine Jacket. It said it right on there. So I typed that in to eBay and there was like three listed and 10 sold and amazing sell through rate, amazing prices. I think this sold for 115 on offer. This is kind of a, a quirky item here. I got this on a Big Lots um, Christmas clearance sale. Um, they were doing like a pre Black Friday sale where it was 50% off their Christmas items and then if you've made a new account, you could get additional 15% off for making a new account. Um, and so I think I got these down to like $22 and I bought the only two that were in stock at my local big lots. Um, but I've sold these yard art kind of Christmassy things before. It's kind of nice because they already come pre-boxed. And I also know that cow print and cow things are kind of in style. Um, I don't, I'm not on TikTok, but if you, if something goes viral on TikTok, it can really change the market on an entire item or category of items. So this really caught my eye as a unique item. It's not your standard, you know, like Disney character or whatever else. And because it was unique, I knew that this was gonna sell quickly and I sold both of them for $150. Um, so they cost anywhere from, you know, if it sells close to you, it could be like $15 to ship, maybe even less and it could be up to like 30 bucks to ship, but because I was flipping 22 into 150, I knew I had plenty of room to work with with getting that shipped uh, anywhere in the country profitably. All right, I have two items left. Uh, this is one of my favorites just because like I love this kind of stuff, but this is a vintage L.L. Bean chore coat. Here's the tag, <clears throat> made in USA. And this actually had like a flannel liner that kind of buttoned into the jacket. Um, and it was size large tall, so really good size. And so I put a uh, field jacket because that's what L.L. Bean called them back in the day. Um, and I also put chore coat as a, a keyword. And so uh, between those keywords, this thing sold really fast. It sold on an offer for $90 plus shipping, but it was international shipping. So the person paid like almost $200 for this jacket, so. All right, last item, my best find last month were Neweth Tags, vintage 1982, orange tab Levi's. These things, like when I saw these on the rack, I was kind of in shock because these things are just really cool. So here's the tag, or the back, like the back tags uh, with the orange tab. <clears throat> So on the Levi's, I took a picture of this front button because on there you can see there's a three digit code which is the factory code for Levi's. And then on the back of this tag that's down in the inner leg, you can figure out which <clears throat> factory it was made, which in this one was 585 because that's what was on the button. And then in the same line on the tag as the factory code is the date. So on this, I knew that the date was 5-2, so that's the fifth month of 1982. So there's a huge science behind these tags, and it takes kind of a while to get a feel for it. There's like where the tag is placed, the shape of the tag, what the front of the tag looks like, what's on the back of the tag. All these different things compile to be able to decipher when they were made. But these ones for, were from uh, May of 1982 which is pretty cool that they were still new with the tags. And it was in an amazing style, which is boot cut, which is you know in style currently. Um, so these sold for 129 plus shipping, or maybe 119 uh, plus shipping. Um, so that's all I have for you today. I just wanted to show you some of my best sales from November. I hope you found some good information in there. Um, be sure to subscribe down below to check out more videos so we can uh, learn a little bit more about selling online.